Hello. This video is on infusion time, on how long it will take to infuse the IV into your patient. Um, <clears throat> so I found this little formula. Um, it works with uh, flow rate with milliliters an hour only. GT, uh, sorry, uh, infusion time and total volume. Um, for volume, the unit, whoops, sorry. Okay, so for volume, the unit is milliliter. For the rate, that's the flow rate in milliliters per hour and the time in hours. Okay, so we're looking for the infusion time. Okay, so when we're looking for the infusion time, you're going to take the volume, right, because what you do basically is mark out what you're looking for so you're looking for time so that means volume over flow rate so that means just volume divided by um, flow rate and I'll put FR um, honestly I I much prefer when we're talking about units which would be if I'm looking for hours in for time then I would be doing the milliliters divided by the milliliters per hour, or again, the volume divided by the flow rate. Um, both of these work. It's whichever you prefer. Before we start, though, we need to talk about um, when you have uh, time in like 2.23 hours, but we need hours in minutes. Okay? So basically, the way I do it, if you take 2.23 um, and you want hours and minutes, that's not two hours and 23 minutes. Um, the two is easy because it is two hours. But you're going to take whatever's behind the decimal right here times 60. Okay, so on your calculator, you're going to type 0.23, not just 2.3, 0.23 times 60. And I get 13. 0.8 minutes, but you're going to just round to a whole minute. So I have 13.8, which rounds to 14. So two hours, 14 minutes. Um, on a quiz or homework, they come out nicely, but on uh, practice, sometimes they come out where they can, the decimal can go forever, like 7.43214. Um, if this happens, you're just going to go to the hundredths place, okay? So that's a four, sorry, 7.4, there's my point. Uh, two makes the three stay the same, okay? So then again, you're going to take whatever's behind the decimal times 60. I know I have seven hours, and then I take the point four three times 60. Uh, I get 25.8 minutes, so you're going to round the whole minute, so 26 minutes. The last one I have 3.98754. So you're going to again round to the hundredths place. So the 7 makes the 8 go up. So I get 3.99. We know the 3 stays as the hours. You take that 0 0.99 times 60. 0.99 times 60 get your minutes. And I have 59.4. So you're going to round to a whole minute. So 50 nine minutes okay so that's the last thing you're going to do the first thing you're going to do is calculate the flow rate so let me already fix that okay so to calculate the flow rate um you've got ordered 250 milliliters at 100 milliliters an hour to determine the infusion time in hours and minutes so um the actual formula was the time equals the volume volume divided by the flow rate. Um, I prefer to think of it in terms of units. So if I'm looking for it in units, I'm looking for hours. And then I would take the milliliters, which is the volume, divided by the flow rate in milliliters per hour. So I have 250 milliliters divided by the 100 milliliters an hour. Those cancel, and I get 2.5. Um, we've already talked about this. Uh, so I know that that 2 is my hours, and then I take the 0.5 
times 60, and I should get an even 30 minutes. So two hours and 30 minutes. Okay, so here's another one, determine the infusion time. So again, I'm going to take my milliliters, so 750 milliliters over 31 milliliters an hour. Uh, those cancel, so I've got 750 divided by 31. Whoops, I typed it wrong, 750 divided by 31. I've got... 24.193 um, so we're gonna because it keeps going so we're gonna round to here uh, so I got 24.19 which gives me the 24 hours in the minutes you take the point 19 because I rounded times 60 so point 19 times 60 and I get 11.4 minutes, which rounds to 11 minutes. Okay. I did want to show you just what it would look like for dimensional analysis, uh, and I can do it on the previous slide too. Um, so I was looking for uh, hours on the previous slide, so and I'll do it in red. So I'm looking for just hours over one. So I have 100 milliliters per one hour. So it's 100, one hour is 100 milliliters. And I need to get rid of milliliters, and I have 250 milliliters <clears throat> over just the one. And you see what happens. I end up with 250 over 100, which is the same thing as right there. Um, and I can do it right here as well. So again, I'm looking for infusion time, so I'm looking for only hours this time. So I find something that says hour. So I have one hour is 31 milliliters. And I'm going to connect my milliliters, so I've got 750 milliliters over one. And you can still see 750 divided by 31. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like. <clears throat> okay. So, this one, they want to know the completion time. So, it's 1,000 milliliters at 70 milliliters an hour, and you started it at 0630, and they, so you want to know when it will be completed. So, the first step is to find the infusion time. So, that's 1,000 milliliters over 75 milliliters an hour. So, 1,000 divided by 75 and I have 13.333 going on forever but we're going to round to 13.33 13.33 so I know it's 13 hours I just need the minutes so take that 0.33 times 60 0.33 times 60 gives me 19.8 19.8 minutes, which rounds to 20. Okay. Now, for the time, I just add. Uh, usually, the first number automatically comes out to military time. So, it started at 0630. It's going to run for 13 hours and 20 minutes. So, that's 50 for the minute. 6, 7, 8, 9. So, I have a 1950. <clears throat> is when it'll be completed. That's your military time. So for the standard time, you're just going to subtract 12 from the 19, again, however you do it. And I get 7.50 p.m. Okay. I think I have one left. Yep. Okay, so it's another completion time. So we have uh, 750 milliliters D5W with 30 milli equivalents at 175 milliliters an hour. It started at 8, so when will it be completed? Um, you do not need the medicine for the infusion time because we only care about the milliliters divided by the milliliters per hour, uh, which is 175 milliliters per hour. So 750 divided by 175. And I've got 4.285. 
4.285, and we're going to round to the hundredths place. So 4.29, so I know I got 4 hours. And take whatever's back here, times 60. 0.29 times 60 gives me 17.4 minutes. So we'll say 17 minutes rounded. Okay, so now it started at 8 a.m. and ran for 4 hours 17 minutes. Okay, so 4 and 8 is 12. So now I'm at 12.17 p.m. And military time would just be, uh, what's that, just 12.17 because it's not after 1 p.m. Okay, so that's a video on infusion time. I think that's the last one. Yep, that was the last slide. Okay, I hope that helps. Y'all have a nice day.